Hey, game makers! Remember that parallaxing tutorial I did a while back? Yeah, good times. But a lot has changed since then, and new plugins have come out. So we're gonna check out the Cos Ultimate Overlay plugin. Not only does it allow you to do more in the ways of parallax mapping, it also lets you use fogs! Yay! But before we get into this, I want to recommend you watch my first parallax mapping video if you haven't yet, as I've already explained what parallax maps are and how to make them over there. Okay, you good? Good. So parallax mapping is essentially using images instead of or in addition to normal tile centered maps. They are also incredibly time consuming, annoying to make, and an overall giant pain in the butt. But I digress. To the plugin! This plugin allows you to use a parallax image overlay, a ground image, light image, and a shadow image, plus fogs! In the parameters, we have our file name details. Setting organized folders to true allows you to put all of your parallaxy images into their own overlay folder and subfolders in your game's image folder. If this is false, you just need to throw them into your game's parallax folder and kind of just let them chill there with your other normal parallax backgrounds. Next, we have image file names. We'll be naming our parallax images based on what layer they are and the map number in which they are used. The text written here is what you'll need to include in the name. So if we were doing a parallax overlay image for, say, map 53, the file name would be par53. Pretty simple, right? Under settings, there's light opacity. This is how see-through our light overlay layer will appear. The default is 185, but I personally manage all my lighting manually, so for this example, we're going to set it to 255 so it'll appear as intended. Next is quick start. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see switches listed. Toggling these in-game on and off will turn the parallax images on or off. If quick start here is set to true, It'll just turn them all on automatically when the game starts, so you don't have to. Bush region ID is awesome! Just set a region ID number for, say, any long grass, water, or such things that would appear partially over the characters. And then go over the map with that region ID after. If you're using either the Bind Pictures or Terax Lighting plugin, set these to true and make sure the Ultimate Overlay plugin is below them. And back to switches! Just set whichever switch number you want to correspond with which layer, and you're good you'll find all of the wonderful codes and note tags you're going to need in the help file. So we have it copied into Notepad for easy access. And to the map! We'll be using the same map created in the first parallax tutorial for this example, with a few minor tweaks. In the map properties, we'll want to have a parallax background with all of our layers combined set to appear, and shown in the editor. This is so we can actually see it on the map and event accordingly. Now, different from the previous parallax plugin we've talked about, this ultimate one utilizes note tags instead of show picture commands. First, make sure you have all of your layers saved as separate images. The map we're using here is map 53. Since we're having organized folders on, we're going to be placing each layer graphic into its own subfolder. If organized folders wasn't set to true, again, we'd just be throwing these into the parallax folder. In our game's image folder, let's make an overlays folder. Inside that, we'll need individual folders for each layer. Our map 53 layers are in here. We've got ground 53, Light 53, Par 53, and Shadow 53. We've also got a fog in here, but we'll talk about that shortly. Back in MB, let's add some note tags in our map properties. Since this map has a ground, light, parallax, and shadow layer, we're going to type in Par, ground, light, and shadow. There's also an alt tag we could use to show the ground, parallax, and light layer instead. Additionally, you only need to add the layers you're actually using. So if you're not using a light or shadow layer, just par and ground would be fine. Now, we're like cool and stuff, so we're also going to add in some epic fog to this map. The fog in our fog folder is nicely borrowed from RPG Maker XP and slightly edited. Remember back when RM had fogs by default? Yeah, those were the days. Moving on, we'll want to add our fog details in the note bank. Fog name and the name of the file. In this case, 005-sandstorm01. Thanks, XP! Then fog opacity, and then the amount of see-throughness. We're doing 95, because why not? These are all that are required. We also have fog blend. This will just adjust how it's blended with the screen. Sadly, our only options are 0 for normal and 1 for add at the moment. In a simple attempt to explain blending, normal will just show the picture normally over top of the map. Whereas add will sort of add its own lighting to the map. Think this versus this. We're gonna make it add because it can. So one. There's also a fog duration code. Just lets you set how many frames you want it to take to fade in. 
We're not using this because we have no real reason to right now. We will, however, be using X move and Y move. Cause scrolling! The number set next to these codes will be how fast they're moving. Positive numbers move right and down, and negative numbers move left and up. So we're going to set ours to scroll to X and 1Y, so right and down a bit. Quick note on all these fog commands. You can also set them up to variables, and change the variable to indicate the amount. Make sure to check the help file for more details. One last thing we're going to do is make it so we can't walk through stuff we aren't supposed to walk through. In addition to the way showed off in the first parallaxing tutorial, there's also a way to do it with plugins. We'll be using the YEP region restrictions. Simply set all restrict in the parameters to your desired region tag, and go over all of the impassable tiles you want with it. Now let's check this out, shall we? Sweet. If you need to manually change any of the layers, you can enter the plugin command, overlay, the layer type, and the new file name. So say, overlay par par53 hyphen 2. In the case of fogs, the code is overlay fog, the new file name, the opacity, move amount x and move amount y, and the fade in duration if applicable. To fade out fogs, the code is simply overlay fade out and the frame duration. You can also manually add more fogs! The code is overlay add fog, the file name, the fog ID, so which fog number you want to assign to it, the opacity, the X and Y scrolling, and the blend type. Then to remove them, use the code overlay, remove fog, and the ID of the fog you set it to. For more info on these, read up on the help file, it's there to help. And that's pretty much all with the ultimate overlay plugin. If you want to see more parallaxy goodness, feel free to ask me in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time gamers!